why did you take this case? And why do you believe that the real victim may well be Edwin and not, as many people think, Alexian Lian, who was, of course, the driver of the SUV? Well, Piers, Edwin is clearly a victim. Here's what happened, and here's what the media is not, tri not tying together. Our investigation has revealed that even before what you just saw on the videotape, uh, as uh, Mr. Lien, the driver of the SUV, was coming down the highway several miles before that, uh, he actually hit another biker. And as, as, the, as Mr. Lien was moving from the right lane over to try to get into the middle lane, he hit another person on the motorcycle, or he hit the motorcycle. He kept going several miles. Then he hit another biker. Mm. And then he, of course, rolled into and hit, after gunning his motor, he hit Edwin, who is now crushed under the SUV. He did that without any warning to Edwin. Edwin, by the way, was doing nothing wrong. We've spoken to many, many people mm. who were there. He did nothing wrong. All he had done was get off his bike, go over, uh, and try to calm everybody down. By the way, at the point that he was run over, mm -hmm. no one had done anything to the driver of the SUV, to Mr. Okay. Leanne. Let, let me ask Dan. First of all, how is Edwin? What's his condition at the moment? He's out of his coma. He's awake. He just had another surgery on his spine. He's in a lot of pain, doesn't talk much. Just came out of ICU today, but... And what is your view? Everyone's seen this video, and most people, like I say, have a very firm view that the guy in the SUV was protecting his family, surrounded by bikers, had no idea what was happening, had already been cut off by one of them, which led to that original bump. What is your view about where blame should lie here? I mean, I wasn't there. I mean, I, I can't blame anyone. I can understand why he was scared, but at, at the end of the day, my, my husband parked his vehicle on a kickstand to get off, to try to help the situation, tell everyone to move on, let's just go, let's get with it, let's just move, you know, let's ignore it. I've got a tough question for you, okay, because Gloria said Edwin did nothing wrong. And, you know, he did, in a sense he did, because if you look at his criminal record, he's not had a valid driver's license or permit since 1999. He's never applied for a motorcycle license. He was recently arrested in Andover, Massachusetts for driving with a revoked license. You know, he's been named as a habitual offender. If you put all that together, that is doing something wrong. You know what, that's not relevant to his being run over. I didn't say that. I didn't oh, no, say that. But it's really important. I want to make right. that point. And the reason I'm making that point is he wasn't driving at the time that he was run over by that SUV. He was not driving. He was doing everything lawfully. Oh, there but, is but nobody Gloria, Gloria. who says he was doing anything improper yeah, Gloria, whatsoever. He's not supposed to be on the road on a motorcycle. He was not on the road on a motorcycle when he was hit. He had, as, he was as Diana said, he had gotten off. He was trying to defuse the situation, right. try to calm. Nothing had happened. And by the way, Mr. Leanne, what could he have done if he was in fear? Because you just pointed out he was in fear. Nothing had happened to him well, let yet. Me, let me he ask, was, let what me could he have that, done? What? He could have honked his horn. I know, what I, said, I, know what I would have done. I would have been absolutely terrified. I've got a 22 well, month, month old baby daughter, right? If I was in that SUV with my wife and my little daughter, and I'd be perfectly straight with you, and I'm swarmed by bikers, maybe a thousand of them, and they're trying to close down the road so they can perform their wheelie tricks. You know, with the greatest of respect to you, Dan, and I mean that because you're not the target of my criticism in any shape or form, and I feel for you on an emotional level about what's happened. But I've got to say, Gloria, and I have great respect for you, as you know, and you're a regular guest of the show, I'd have been out of there like hell in a handcart. Well, you know what? He could have honked his horn. He could have said, everybody get out of the way. He could have slowly rolled out instead of gunning the motor and running him down. And Edwin is also the father of two children. And now, Diana, what would, what would you and now his two done. children, and, and she is in fact, and she's a hero. She has been sleeping in the chair in the ICU every day for about nine days or eight days since this has happened. Diana, she hasn't even gone to bed.